I think this real tragedy of this poor young girl being effectively murdered because she was raped and now she's died as a result of the injuries that she's had. I think there's going to be a huge sea change in India right now. I think, you know, it's sometimes when such a tragedy happens, people's opinions change. And I think in India now, when you see the protests, you've also seen a police officer that's been killed as well in the rioting that's happened in the days that's, since this has actually occurred. And now you've got these six men that have been charged. I think India will change. I think when you speak to ordinary Indians that have spoken to me on the phone in the last few days, they've said, and women especially have said, this is completely unacceptable and this isn't the India we now understand. But when you talk about girls and women that have been raped in India, they talk about the shame that they've brought onto their family, which is incomprehensible. When you talk about women that have been raped, they're not survivors, they're victims still in India. And I think there has to be a different attitude completely. In the UK, we view things very differently and I think that has to come across to in India as well. Okay, but what is it about the culture or what is it about the families or the households that say these six individuals, that, that the kind of culture that they come from, that they behave in this way and they think they can behave in this way and not get caught? I don't know of any Indian family where they say that raping anybody is at all acceptable. I think you've got a horrendous crime that has happened and I don't think their families would accept that this is a good thing that they've done either. It isn't at all. It's completely awful. And I think what's going to happen in India now, the judiciary, how they treat women that have been raped, will have to change. We'll have to have havens like we have in the UK. Women will have to be, get the right medical attention and ensure that when they come to court to give evidence, they're given the best chance to give their evidence, be it by screen, special measures, video links but ensure that women aren't afraid to come forward. You know, you had a case this week of a young 17-year-old that was raped that committed suicide because she'd been raped, because she knew she wasn't going to be married. You had another girl that was raped and the police advised her to marry one of her rapists because no one would ever want to marry her again. How much of this will come down to the older generation, the, the male older generation that predominantly still runs India, listening to the young male stroke female generation? I mean, I know today that uh, there's an awful lot of chatter about this on Twitter. People are talking to mm. each other. They're venting their anger in that way. They're not demonstrating on the streets yet, as far as we've seen. How much of about that, about, about this, this sea change that you talk about has to come from the older generation listening to what the younger generation are saying? And actually, allowing them to say it, allowing them to vent, and then literally legislating. I think legislation will have to be very quick, very swift. They do have very strict laws on rape in India, and they have to ensure that when someone comes forward, it's dealt with correctly, and that actually victims have the right tools in which they can report rape in a safe environment, that you have female officers in police stations, that there are all these things that are in place. You know, as a charity, we are more than happy to go to India and speak to the Indian government about best practices. As a member of the police authority, when that was around in London, I've worked and campaigned tirelessly to help rape victims, and we're still there doing that now as a charity in the UK. It's not just an Indian crime here when we talk about rape. It goes past every generation we have, but we have to look at things differently and how you can change. One of the things that could happen, you could get all these celebrities, all the Bollywood stars coming forward and talking against how against anyone being raped, how awful this is. And if they started to do that, that would influence ordinary Indians that just see that kind of media. I think it would make a difference and I hope this horrendous tragedy will see a sea change in India today.